Right, where's Hayley? There you are. Hello YouTubers! Today we're going to be doing Telling the Time. And this is Hayley, my friend. Hello Hayley. Hello. Say hello to the YouTubers. Hello to the YouTubers. Okay, so today we're going to teach Hayley how to tell the time. We've got a clock here. Uh, <clears throat> now, there's a big hand on the clock and there's a little hand on the clock. If the big hand is pointing at the 12, that means we say o'clock. And if it's and the little hand points to the numbers, these big numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, Hayley, if we put it at 1 o'clock, that means the time is 1 o'clock because the little hand is pointing at the uh, 1 and the big hand is pointing at the 12, which means uh, twelve, uh, 1 o'clock, okay? Okay, so you tell me where the little hand is pointing. To number two. No, to number two. Oh, it must have slipped down. Right, what time do you finish school, Hayley? I finish school at three o'clock. Okay, well, I'll change it to three o'clock. So we want o'clock, so the big hand goes to the top. And we'll put the little hand to number three, okay? So that means it says three o'clock now because the little hand's pointing to the three and the big hand's at o'clock to the twelve. You have a look and tell me what time it says. Four o'clock! Huh? Four o'clock? Oh, what's happened? It's moved again. Well, shall I teach you something else? I'm going to teach you half past. Now, if the big hand points to uh, straight down to the number six, that means we say half past. So, this little hand moves this way during the day. And as it moves, it, we say, and if the big hand's going down, that means we say half past. And then we look at the little hand to see what hour it is half past. So it's half past four now. And it won't be half past five until the little hand has moved to five, okay? Now, what time do you get up in the mornings? I get up at half past six. Right, let's put it at half past six. So six o'clock, if we put it down to there, that means, okay, it's half past six. And that's what time you get up. You get up a bit early, don't you? Well, when I was a baby, I used to get up at half past five. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, learning to, to for half past very important. So it's half past, huh? Half past seven? It's changed! Oh, that would be nice if you got up at half past seven instead of half past six. You could have a bit of a lie in. Yeah! I don't know why it keeps changing. Well, <clears throat> it's very important for you to know the time because you can learn what time to catch the bus and what time to catch the train. Yeah, I get the bus at quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. Right then. Let's have a look. Let's change it from half past seven to oh, half past nine. It's moved again. Right. Well, let's change it to what time did you say you get the bus? Quarter past eight. Well, the quarter past is here where the number three is or 15. The quarter past eight. There we go. That's quarter past eight. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good time to catch the bus at quarter past eight. A very good time. Uh, I get the... Oh! Quarter past nine! It's moved! I don't know how this keeps moving. I don't think I've been talking for an hour, have I? So, this would be quarter past ten. This would be quarter past eleven. Quarter past twelve. Quarter past one and so on. Now, if the big hand was over here, it would mean it was quarter two. So, this is quarter to three. Not yet three o'clock, it's quarter to two. Right, let's leave it. At what time do you finish school? I don't know, can't remember. Oh, I thought it was three o'clock. Well, let's say it was quarter to three, so it's almost time for school. 
And that's what it would look like, you see, quarter past three. So the big hand is on the 45, and the little hand is nearly at the three. I don't know why it keeps moving. Oh! I know why it keeps moving! Theo keeps moving it! Theo! We're trying to teach the YouTubers how to, how to do the time. Right, say goodbye.